and start cleaning out the drawers, the closets. Our annual Shred-a-thon for 16 pack of backpack is just days away. This Saturday, you could get your sensitive document shredded on site, and you're also helping our area kids get back and, to school. And so before, it's a win-win. Yeah, before I even toss to Christine here, I just got to say, Everyone watching has that something they need to get rid of oh, and shred it. Yeah. So I, we I know have, you can use this. I have sure. more than a few. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's go check back in with Christine Carson. I know you have it too. Whoa. Oh, where are Christine, you at? Christine, are you driving away? What are you doing? I am driving up and getting ready. <laughs> We're getting you ready for the Shredathon taking place right here in our WNDU studio parking lot. So heading out this Saturday, Carl, my knight in shining armor. I welcome him to the show. He's helping, he's supervising me in case I fall. See, impressed, aren't you? Nice. I see I got out of a truck. There you go. All right, let's talk about this event because that's why we're here, right? We're going to bring back in Car Carissa. She's here from the Federal Credit Union. And we got to talk about several things because we were just talking about that lovely drawer that we all have. What can get we get rid of what can't we get rid of so we're gonna pull up a graphic on screen to make it so easy for you Carissa what are things we need to be getting rid of so some items that you'll want to get rid of after about a year is your paycheck stubs and credit card receipts um, some stuff to keep for about three years is gonna be some medical bills and investment statements seven years um, items to keep income tax returns and insurance policies and then again the ones that I touched on earlier the permanent ones military um, records are going to one, be ones that you want to keep permanently, along with any marriage certificates, death certificates. And birth certificates. Birth I certificate, always yeah. lose, not, I don't lose it, but I always place it in that yeah. perfect spot that I'm going to remember, mm -hmm. and then I never find it. So right. I'm one of those. I have no risk of throwing it out because I have to find it first. Exactly. Let's talk about the reasons why we want to dispose of these things securely and why these events are so important. So the reason we want to destroy these documents um, is because we don't want scammers or fraudsters getting a hold of name, address, social security number, or date of birth. They're able to take this information and create fraudulent accounts, loans, credit cards in your name. And this event is so important to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union because personal and financial security is a paramount to our memberships. Yeah. Um, and this also gives us the ability to come out to the community and let the community know how important it is to safeguard yeah. their personal information as well. Yeah. All while we're helping pack a backpack as well. Yeah, it's so amazing. I am so bad about sorting my documents, but when you think of the hassle afterwards if someone does steal your identity, you don't even want, that takes a while to, to fix. It does. It takes a while to fix and it takes the team you know they've got to go in and you know verify all this information you've got to put stops on your um, credit bureaus and all of that and contacting us will be able to help you with all that yeah. but it still is a hassle and it still takes time I love it Chris thank you so much for yeah. joining us thank you're you. such a great speaker planning it all out we got that visual for you everything waiting at WNDU.com but Don come on over here because I want to show you I'm gonna move these things I'm gonna put you guys. oh I'll take these notes up I want to put you guys to the test take a look at what I have this assortment here, Josh, Lauren, what are things we should not be putting in the shredder? Can you see? Mike's up. I'm going to say go. no I'm binders, go no binders. Obviously get that out of there. Yes. Ding, okay. ding, ding. We have that's that. That's out of here. And then what there's, else? And the, <laughs> there's at least it. one more. There's that black, that notebook. black notebook thing with the wiring. Yeah. Get that out of there. That. Come on. Out of here. Come what else now. you got? There's one more. There's one more. Oh my gosh. Zoom in, Donnie. Come on. Yeah, can Don zoom in a little? <laughs> we don't have our glasses on. <laughs> I feel like Velma. Where are my glasses? Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of. Is he zooming in on what we the should get rid of? The plastic bag. <laughs> I think we should get rid of the plastic bag. Plastic bag. He's like, hint, hint, <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Yes, I don't want to. I, I don't want to see these on Saturday. I don't want to see these. What, am, what are we pointing to, Don? What uh, are we? Oh, oh. And yeah. Well, they're done. I only have two hands, okay? So I'm just saying the Come bag. On, Dot. We don't want to see the bag. Do not bring the bag. We're going to bring in Tom with Integra to talk even more about what you can put these items that you want to get rid of. Again, all this coming up Saturday, 7 yeah. to noon, $20 minimum donation. It's going back to the kids in our community right here. We've got so much more. Keep it here. We're going to talk about it. It's okay. a lot of fun, too. Yeah. Uh, Christy, we'll check back in. Thank you. And thank yeah. you, Don, as well. Uh, let's get